Hey church family and friends, it is Wednesday, January 27th. I wanted to give you a quick update on our meeting with the supervisors today and also um, give you a devotion on just try to answer the question, what, it, what to do when things don't go your way. And so first of all, with the update from the supervisors, uh, we spent some time today talking about the 9th District Court of Appeals that upheld the ban on churches from meeting indoors. And so uh, both uh, Supervisor Gore and the, the uh, assistant to Mike M McGuire, uh, they both were personally disappointed with the ruling and uh, got to figure out what to do next here. But uh, it was it was a kind of a difficult meeting. There was, um, it was kind of a, it was awkward, there's some confrontation and uh, anyway, that's part of life, I guess. But uh, it was an interesting meeting. Um, also, just to update you, let you know, uh, the Press Democrat's going to be writing an article about a local church that um, is meeting indoors in kind of large numbers and not wearing masks. And so we actually met with the pastor of that church on Tuesday with the other pastors and uh, just encouraged each other and prayed for them. And I uh, just want you to know the enemy is going to look for ways to divide the church. And so we're going we're gonna to be strong together through this even though there's some different opinions about how we should be going about things. So I want to encourage you with that. Uh, we'll continue to gather safely. There's a few groups I want to let you know about that we're particularly, I particularly want to watch out for and protect. One is there's a, a group of rural people in Sonoma County and also people that uh, are homeless or poor that just don't have the means to do church online right now. And so we want to minister to those folks. Also, there's a, a group of people that are just emotionally hurting, um, spiritually just struggling. Um, uh, Hessel just had a young person uh, commit suicide this past week. And so these are difficult times and there's there's real struggles going on. And so we want to provide an opportunity to for people to come and, and gather and to be encouraged and to uh, just be blessed in that way. So we want to be mindful of that group. And then third, there's also a group of people that just their conscience is to obey the Lord when he tells us to not forsake the gathering of yourselves together in Hebrews chapter 10. So we want to honor those folks as well. So we'll, we'll continue to do things safely and thoughtfully, and uh, just we'll just keep walking through this together. Uh, I wanted to encourage you with some scripture tonight um, from Psalm 44, kind of how to respond when things aren't going your way. I felt that way with the, the decision from the, the court recently, but this is from the sons of Korah, Psalm 44. I'm going to jump in at verse 9. You'll, you'll hear their, their discouragement of why things aren't going the way they hoped they would go, but then also their reaction to that, and it's a really good reaction I want to encourage us with tonight. Psalm 44, verse 9, but you have rejected us, speaking to God, and disgraced us and have not gone out with our enemies. You have made us turn back from the foe, and those who hate us have gotten spoil. You have made us like sheep for slaughter and have scattered us among the nations. You have sold your people for a trifle, demanding no high price for them. You have made us the taunt of our neighbors and the derision and scorn of those around us. You have made us a byword among the nations, a laughing stock among the peoples. All day long my disgrace is before me and shame has covered my face. At the sound of the taunter and reviler, at the sight of the enemy and the avenger. And here's the response. Verse 17, all this has come upon us, though we have not forgotten you, and we have not been false to your covenant. Our heart is not turned back, nor have our steps departed from your way. And so they haven't forgotten God. They'll continue to remember the Lord and what they're dealing with. Uh, they've not been false to the covenant of the Lord, and for us, the new covenant is um, remembering the Holy Spirit is indwelling us and, and transforming us into the image of Christ. Uh, our heart is not turned back. Uh, think of the armor of God. It's all frontal, like catcher's gear. Uh, when you turn back or turn around, it's, that's when you're vulnerable, and we're going to keep pushing forward towards the kingdom of God, and nor have our steps departed from your way. Uh, just keep being obedient to the Lord and, and his ways, uh, his truth in these days we're living in. And then at the end, he has a prayer in verse 26. Rise up, come to our help, redeem us for the sake of your steadfast love. And so just a prayer there for God's 
um, rescuing us in our, our difficult times and uh, remembering his love, his steadfast love, his loving kindness towards us. Um, he loves us. And so we're going through hard times. You know, what else are we going to do? And, and just we have the Lord and we just keep looking to the Lord. Love you, church. Hope you're doing well. And we'll talk to you soon.